In this video demo, we'll discuss API calls with Knight and contacting your Chef server to show its policy. I'm within the Chef repo directory where we can communicate to a Chef server. By running pwd, you can ensure that you're in the correct directory and that you can run knife commands by running knife client list within your terminal or PowerShell session. Running this command should show any clients that you have on your Chef server. But what's a client? Running knife node list, I can actually see a list of nodes that might be attached to this particular Chef server organization. So understanding what the differences between these two values are is important for understanding how to ask for information from your Chef server. I'm going to finish up this brief demo by typing a couple other commands that are list commands. Knife environment list will return underscore default, the only environment on my Chef server currently. There's another command, knife role list. And I don't have any roles other than web underscore server that have been uploaded. The last list command I would like to run is called data bag with knife data bag list. This will return an empty set because I don't have any custom data bags. So what are all of these values? Clearing my screen, for demonstrative purposes, I just want to type some theory. When you run a knife command, you must first provide the index that you would like to search through or ask for information about. Knife is a tool that allows us to query our Chef server for some specific information. To give you a quick example, you've seen me run list commands for the five following indices. Client, Node, Environment, Role, and Data Bag. These are all the indices that your Chef server tracks. Essentially, when something has been uploaded to the Chef server, it will automatically index that particular piece of policy and then allow it to be searchable from a Chef workstation. For an example, before you saw me run knife client list. This will return a list of all clients that are allowed to speak to your Chef server and ask for information. Knife node list is going to return a list of all of the nodes. These are machines that can run the Chef client. So, we might have servers that can authenticate to our Chef server, but not necessarily execute the Chef client and run cookbooks. These two indices help us track the differences between them. Environments and roles have a special function within Chef, and I'm not going to get into data bags either right now. But understand that if you were to upload any of these types of policies to your Chef server, it would automatically index that piece of policy making that policy searchable from your Chef workstation. The reason I mention the theory behind the knife command is that if you run knife-help, you'll see a lot of options on the knife command. If you were to scroll through some of this, it could be overwhelming to see all the different options that you can actually run to query the Chef server for information. A lot of these commands might be specific to a cloud provider or other environmental options. However, in general, when you run a knife command, you're typically going to be asking for one of those five indexes that I mentioned before. Client, node, environment, or role, or any custom data bags that you might have created. You'll then begin to find that each of these commands are essentially the same. Meaning, instead of actually going through and listing information, you can show information as well with knife. You need to then provide, of course, the index and then show more information about a particular piece of policy you're interested in. For example, I could say knife node show and give the name of the node I would like more information about. If I can't remember which nodes I have, I can try knife node list first. This will note that I have a node called web underscore one and typing knife node show web underscore one, we can see more details about that particular web one node. 
If you can combine these types of formulas for all the different knife commands, they are very easy to work with. For example, knife environment list will show me what environments I can run show commands on, underscore default. So knife environment show, underscore default, will allow me to see more of those details. These patterns and formulas can pretty much be provided for any knife command, and it will help you understand the intuitive nature of searching your chef's server for information you might need for troubleshooting or simple planning. I hope this demo has been helpful for you to understand a little bit about how to use Knife to query your chef's server.